Hello, this is Alan Banks with Master Chemical. I've had some people ask me how to disassemble a mini dose 10 and reassemble it in the case of service. So I'm going to go over that today, showing you guys how to do so. You will need a couple strap wrenches, a pair of needle nose pliers, and also a small screwdriver. It's very helpful to also have a flashlight. It's good to use strap wrenches as opposed to um, channel locks, so that way you apply an even force across the unit so that everything opens up easily and doesn't break or chip. This does not have to be opened up in the sequence which I'm doing it. I'm just most familiar with the pattern that I'm using. There are a couple things that uh, are more helpful if you do them in the proper sequence. Removing a pin that retains the lever to make this go from functioning to water bypass. That is how I remove the top. Next, the bottom, and again, we'll use the strap wrenches to loosen this bottom component. Make sure to do this in an area where if you drop something, you're not gonna lose it. Occasionally, these springs will go flying through the air. So I've taken the top bowl off, now I'm removing this bottom section. This bottom section contains, as you can see here, the easiest way to remove this is to loosen that wiggle. There's O-ring here. This bottom portion contains a check valve and another seal. You can separate this. Um, plunger from the main drive unit by turning this 90 degrees and then the unit will come out and you are fully disassembled. Do verify that the unit is functioning as such. <laughs> 